Akuma. What can I do for the only member of the Seven Warlords who chooses to obey the government like a dog? The government considers you a valued weapon in their arsenal of goons, but I can't say I share their admiration. I don't know what you're plotting, but I'm sure that I won't like it. I'm here to deliver a report. As you know, Crocodile has been removed from his post as one of the Seven Warlords. It's been decided who will replace him. You might not have even heard of him. His name is Marshal D. Teach also commonly known by the name of Blackbeard. He was a member of Whitebeard's fleet, 2nd Division. He's only recently proven his abilities that led to his appointment. I suppose the news hasn't reached these foggy waters yet, but his powers have raised a great deal of commotion throughout the world. They're probably happy they managed to find someone to fill the spot so quickly. I expect that this is supposed to restore the balance of power, or whatever, right? But if I were to place a bet, I would say it's the exact opposite. After the catastrophic events at Annie's lobby, they're more concerned than ever about the movements of the Straw Hat pirate crew. There is a high probability that they will find their way here. The government is concerned the Straw Hats will take out another one of the Seven Warlords. Ah! You better be joking! I've never been so insulted in my life! <laughs> Just who the hell do you think you're talking to? You even seen their crew! A bunch of crackpots led by a rubber doll! No battle is 100% guaranteed. No one expected Rob Lucci to lose. The government's so scared of the Straw Hats that they want to pick two of the seven warlords against them! They only sent me here to warn you. I was given no specific orders to offer you any assistance. Then I recommend you stay out of my damn way, buddy. And if they want some kind of report, you can tell them this! I've already dealt with him! That means I stole his shadow and made it a part of my zombie army. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>